my name is Eva and I am a D1 at the University of Maryland School of Dentistry. I am originally from Santa Clara, California and I went to UCSD and graduated with a degree in Physiology and Neuroscience. While I was at UCSD, I was involved in a few extracurriculars. I was on a dance team and helped run a dance show and I was also on the board of the UCSD Pre-Dental Society. With the Pre-Dental Society, I was able to volunteer with free clinics around San Diego and I also had an opportunity to volunteer with an organization called Thousand Smiles in Mexico and it was a really great opportunity to meet deans from different dental schools. So that was a really big part of my extracurricular experiences at UCSD. In my spare time, I really like to cook and bake and research new recipes. So I have a lot of family members who work in healthcare and my mom is a dentist, which really influenced me growing up. I always thought that I wanted to be a surgical doctor, but as I got into high school and early parts of college, I also realized that I wanted a slightly more flexible lifestyle and wanted to be a little bit more autonomous and own my own practice. So I started exploring some other career options, including tech and dentistry. The summer after my freshman year of college, I spent the summer working for my mom and then as a sophomore I joined the UCSD Pre-Dental Society and those two experiences really solidified for me that dentistry could be an extremely rewarding career where I'd be able to have really continuous like lifelong learning, especially as a general dentist and I'd be able to build amazing long-lasting relationships with people in my community. So I spent three months after my junior year studying for the DAT and I mainly used DAT bootcamp but I also used Chad's videos for the organic chemistry section. My personal study schedule was doing spending about half the day doing general or organic chemistry and then for the second half of the day I would focus on taking some notes and reading through the bootcamp biology notes, um, and then from about the fifth week onwards, I also started incorporating math, PAT, and reading comprehension into my study schedule. For biology specifically, I hand wrote notes, uh, one page study guides for each chapter of the bootcamp biology notes, which brings me to my first piece of advice, which is to utilize the things that have worked for you in the past in your undergrad studies. Um, I think a lot of people tend to abandon the things that have worked for them in the past when they're studying for these big exams, but I found that even though writing notes was really time consuming, it really helped me retain information in a way that I knew was best for me, and it paid off in the end. And then my second piece of advice for somebody taking the DAT would be to diversify your study resources because I found that when I was studying, or once I took the exam, I realized that the DAT bootcamp PAT section wasn't enough practice for me when it came to the PAT section. Um, so if I could do one thing differently, looking back, I would use another resource such as PAT Booster or something um, to ensure that I had enough practice before the actual exam. I think that one thing that might have set my application apart was my involvement with the UCSD Pre-Dental Society. Um, a lot of students from UCSD PDS have come to University of Maryland and the two schools have a good relationship. So I think it's possible that that association may have helped my application stand out. So I submitted my application on July 1st and I received an interview invite on October 1st. My actual interview day was in November and the interview day consisted of four parts. The first was a virtual tour and some general information on the school. The second part was a financial aid presentation, which was incredibly helpful. And then the third part was the part where there was a student and a faculty member and we split off into a separate room and they asked me a few questions about myself a few ethical questions and they asked, I believe it was a question or two on diversity. Um, what I remember from the day was that it was really relaxed, they weren't intimidating at all, it really just seemed like they were trying to get to know me. And then the fourth part of the interview day was a student panel where three students from the school just answered some of our questions, which was once again also really relaxed. 
Overall, I really enjoyed my interview day. I didn't feel like it was stressful. I felt really comfortable and I learned a lot about the school. So my first tip would be to get as much practice as you can. I remember when I was practicing for interviews, I did a mock interview session with UCSF and I know a lot of other schools offer that, so be sure to be on the lookout for those. And then also just practice with your friends and other faculty members. I also practice with one of my friends who's in med school and he was able to ask me some of the more ethical questions that they tend to ask in interviews. My second tip would be to just be yourself and try to be as relaxed as possible even though it is a really stressful day. And my final piece of advice would be to take notes and ask questions. Um, the interview day is as much about you getting to know a school as it is about them getting to know you. And after my interview at Maryland specifically, I knew almost immediately that I really liked the school. Um, and that made my decision to come here a lot easier. So I applied to 18 schools and ultimately the reason that I chose University of Maryland was for a few different reasons. One, it has a really great preclinical program and clinical program. We started drilling, which is our operative class, in October, which from what I've heard from other, some of my friends who go to other schools is pretty early. Um, and then another reason that I really like Maryland is that it's in a large and really diverse city. So I know that I'll be able to see a really wide range of patients once I start working in clinic and that was really important to me because I want to be as prepared as I can when I graduate from school. And then a third reason was that I just really loved my interview. Everyone was really friendly, really honest and really nice and that made me feel really comfortable choosing University of Maryland. And then finally, this wasn't like a huge main reason, but it is the first dental school in the world and that prestige was kind of cool. So I had about a year and a half off between the end of undergrad and the beginning of dental school during which I worked at a couple of different dental offices during COVID. And those experiences made me really excited and really motivated to come to dental school and begin learning dentistry, but I will say that once I got here, the transition to dental school life was extremely challenging. We have exams multiple times a week sometimes and practicals can be really intense and just being in class sometimes from 9 to 4 or 9 to 5 and then having to study afterwards was really difficult to get used to. I will say that a couple of things made a big difference for me. Um, the first was having a support system. I'm really lucky to have a great group of friends in the dental school who I can share these experiences with. And I'm also really lucky to have a great support system outside of school with my friends and family um, who I'm able to just talk to when I want to talk to somebody who's not in the dental school. So that has been really great. And then the second thing that's really helped is just finding a balance between schoolwork and hanging out with friends or cooking or pursuing hobbies, working out, whatever it is. I think that balance really helps make dental school feel a lot more manageable and it's something that I definitely have to work on but whenever I, I have successfully achieved that balance, I'm just a lot happier. Our schedule varies a lot from day to day and week to week so it is really difficult to describe a typical day but generally speaking, our day starts at around 8 or 9 in the morning and we'll go to roughly three to five in the afternoon. We have two different kinds of days. We'll have days that are a mix of lecture-based classes and lab-based classes, and then we'll have days that are just lecture all day. On lab-based classes, we'll have a dental-related lab for one to three hours in the morning, and then we'll have gross anatomy lab for two hours in the afternoon. And then on lecture-based days, um, we'll have lecture all day and we can either watch those from home because University of Maryland does stream its lectures through a service called Media Site, or we can go to campus and see them in person which is nice that there's that level of flexibility. Usually at one time we're taking six to eight classes so at the moment that is gross anatomy, general pathology, biomaterials, neuroscience, perio, radiology, and oral microbiology. And in the evenings when I come back, usually I like to 
hang out with my roommate for a little bit and eat a snack and then if we have exams I'll start studying for whatever is coming up. But when we don't have exams, I do like to try to work out or explore one of Baltimore's many different neighborhoods. Um, there's a lot of fun things to do in the area, so I'll hang out with my friends or get dinner um, somewhere in either Federal Hill or Fells Point. And yeah, that's pretty much what a typical day for me looks like. Honestly, the thing that makes me most excited about going to the University of Maryland is definitely just how supportive the environment is. We are assigned bigs in the beginning of the year, so we always have an upperclassman to talk to about different things that we're struggling with. Um, and everyone, even people that are not your bigs, they're always willing to offer advice. We also have something called after hours, which is... Um, a set of hours in the evening where you can go in to get extra practice and usually there's upperclassmen who are also doing their projects and practicing and all of them are really willing to answer any questions or offer advice from their experiences in the past um, and the faculty is also really supportive and really willing to help you succeed and that just makes for a really great environment. I think the biggest piece of advice I have for pre dens is just to be true to yourself and do things that you enjoy. Um, there is no real ideal dental student. So many of my friends come from varied backgrounds and had different majors in college and did a bunch of different extracurriculars. So I truly believe that if you do things that you enjoy, you will find a school that is a good fit for you um, and you will end up where you belong. So I guess overall just try your best to relax and enjoy the process. Looking back on it, it was a really stressful time, but it was also a really exciting time and I'm glad everything happened the way it did because I wouldn't be here right now if it wasn't for that. If you have any questions, you can follow me on Instagram at smileswithease and send me a DM and I'd be more than happy to answer any of your questions about Maryland. And to all of you that are applying, good luck!